So let's sit on the chair comfortably. You can always move, find that sweet spot in your head, both right and left. It's actually situated nicely on your chair. Now we're gonna roll the shoulder back, lengthen the spine, and see if we can feel the spine nice and straight on the chair. Now let's see if our toes, we can always wiggle the toes and see if the toes and the feet are resting nice flat on the floor. So nicely just adjusting that. And the knees are hip width apart. And the palm is facing our legs. We roll the shoulder back. Create a little space between our shoulders and our ears. Kind of sitting nicely here straight. And then we just take the head to the right side, dropping the right ear to the right shoulder without any change in our shoulders. So the shoulders are down nicely. Then we inhale back to center and then we exhale back to left. So we're going to go very slow into this movement. Inhale center and exhale to the side. So once you really feel the space between your ears and your shoulder, shoulders are down, so we're allowing the neck to relax a little bit. The head is already heavy enough to drop to the side and create that gentle soft opening. We're doing six more on each side. We're inhaling center, we're exhaling to the side. And maybe the exhale is slightly longer, so you can stay a little bit more into the side, just to create more flow. It should feel really good. And we're doing four more, really mindfully, we're not rushing, we are taking our time to see how the neck is feeling this moment. Make sure your jaw and your tongue are relaxed as well. Three more. Last two, comfortably. Notice if the head is kind of going more to the side now, effortlessly, not really even thinking about it. Last one to both sides. Once you're done with your left side, you come back center, dropping the shoulder down, and just rest. Notice if you feel like there's more room between your shoulders and your ears. Just stay there, relax. Now we're gonna take a tour, we're gonna inhale center, we turn the head all the way to the right side where the right shoulder is and allowing the back of the head and side to lengthen. Then inhale, come back to center and exhale all the way to the other side. Back, inhale, exhale to the right really slow movement. We're not interested in stretching, we're interested in creating a beautiful flow. And we're going very slow with the breath. Allow the breath to guide your neck and allow the neck to follow the breathing and to relax even more. Four more each side with spine straight. 
face, jaw, relax. Inhaling as you're coming to the center, exhaling as you're going to the side. We're doing two more each side, really mindfully. So this gives us an opportunity to just feel how everything is so beautifully connected with your spine, with your midsection, the back of your head, and the size of your neck. And let's give you one more, really taking your time with breathing and with movement. Just the last one, once you're done with the left side, gently come back, keep the spine straight, relax, and see how you're feeling. You feel there's lots of room around your jaw, neck, shoulders. Stay with this feeling, with this beautiful flow. And we're going to just travel this energy toward the arms and shoulders. So we're going to take the right arm up. And he's sitting at the, at the edge of the chair or maybe halfway. This us give you a little bit more space to move. So just to make sure we're not hitting the back of the chair. And the knees stay hip width apart. So the hip is not really moving. And you're working to just see how this feels for your shoulders, spine, midsection. Just allow this energy to flow. Let's inhale one side and exhale the other side. See if you can relax your arms, your fingers. You're not tensing the arms. You really allow the arms to be heavy so they can drop down and stretch more that midsection, you massage your spine. And you're doing eight more here. Make sure you're breathing deep and long, exhale. Let's do four more, really soft, the fingers, the wrist, the arms, just dropping down. Last two. And last one. And once you're done, bring your arms, palm facing down, roll the shoulder back and down, Lengthen your spine, drop the shoulder down to feel the space between your shoulders and your ears. Travel inward and feel the sensation, some tingling or maybe just some blood flowing there. And come back, back center. Just want to change this one. Music. And slowly drop the arm, completely relax. Now we're going to lift the shoulder all the way up to the ears, squeezing them up as high as you can. So a little bit of contraction there. Deep, one more inhale. Exhale, lower. Let's do five more like that. With the inhale, you lift all the way up fast. You hold, holding, and drop down fast. Three more, inhale. And 
down. Again, two. And down. Last one. And down. Now we're going to go up for the count of five. And lower for the count of five. And see how this feels when you exhale and coming down. Okay? So here we go. Let's go slowly up. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze and hold. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower five, lower four, lower three, lower two, lower one. And hold for five. Elbows down, shoulders down. Slightly your sternum, your chest is opening, and it's a nice stretch into the chest. Breathe, two more, one, let's repeat. Going up, five, four, three, two, one, hold for five, squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, slowly lowering, five. Four, three, two, one, and hold. Elbows down by your ribcage. Chest is expanding. Shoulders are stretching. Hold two more. Hold one. Let's do one more time. Five, up, four, three, two, one. Squeeze, hold for five, four, three, Two, one, lowering slowly. Five, four, three, two, one. Down the elbows, pull down, hold, hold five, four, three, two, one. Drop the arms down, relax. Ah, let the finger relax, let the shoulder relax. Shoulder circle rotation. Hands in your shoulders, elbows are up, and we're gonna first do this a little bit expansion and contraction. It's front, touch the elbow, and back. It's front and back. It's 10 of those, seven more. Inhale, open, exhale, touch. Inhale, open, exhale, touch. And again, keep going. Give me five more. Keep the elbows high, align with the shoulders. So you can work on that shoulder very well. And three more. Awesome. And two. Here we go. And one. Come back. Palm to palm. Arms in front. You kick up and down for eight. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Give me four more. And down. Give me three. And down. Give me two. And down. Give me one, and down, calm down, relax. Mm. Ah, feel the blood flowing into the scapula, into the front of the shoulder, relax. And we're coming with the straight arm here, mm, one up, one down. And we're all gonna do, we're gonna bring the fingers, but close the fingers, Touch your shoulders and back, flat, palms down. Touch, bend, and straight. You're doing 20. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Normally, this is done for a long time, maybe two minutes. Just doing a little bit to warm up the arms, stretch a little bit, shake your arm in case if you have any tension, and stay here. Now we're coming to that shoulder circle rotation. Come all the way up, lift the elbows up. Ah, bring the elbows in front, circle around. Go back, again, eight of those. 
Inhale slowly, exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Last four, nice and slow. Three, two, one. And when you come in front, hold the elbows, hug the elbows nicely, elbows are high. Feel the back between your shoulders are kind of stretching. Now we're gonna push the elbows back to contract between the scapula and open the heart. So got a nice contraction back there, a nice expansion in front. Then we come back again, we expand the back between the scapula and now go back and stretch. So let's work on this. You got seven more to do. Back and front circling, back Take your mind between your shoulder blade and see how that feels for your back of your shoulders. Four more. Three, two, one, and relax the arm. Shake the arm. I start feeling hot already, so I'm gonna take my top. I feel a little chilly. That's good. Stay there resting. Ah, dropping the arms. Feel good. Arms relax. Shoulder relax. We're going to work on our arms. A little bit in mid sections and at the back of the spine. So we're going to bring the front arm to the chest, the left arm back, and you're going to turn it. Be mindful with the back of your chair. You know, just see where your arm is going. We're going to do one minute here. So once you inhale one side, exhale the other side. Arms are up high, they're not dropping down. You want to really work on that upper body. You can speed it up a little bit. Your feet are firm down and you're really moving, creating a little bit beautiful energy and flow into your midsection, massaging your spine. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Ah, come back, sit in the middle of the chair, make sure you don't want to fall down, <laughs> and relax. Roll the shoulder back, lengthen your spine. Let's pause for a moment and see how your body's feeling. Your arms, your shoulders, your scapula, maybe even your spine. Your waistline. Oh, it should feel nice and good. Now we're gonna work a little bit in our hands, wrist, and then move into the legs. So take your fingers up and let's stretch that. Or uh, maybe you wanna just pull all the fingers up and stretch. Feel a nice stretch in that. Um, forearm, wrist, fingers, including your thumb. Sometimes it gets out. <laughs> so just pull on that thumb as well. Awesome. Just bend the fingers, all the fingers down, as down as you can, and take the right hand and press the hands down so you can stretch your wrist and you can feel how the whole shoulder is stretching from the source, from the shoulder girdle. Now the same arm, right arm all the way up, hold on your right wrist. Draw a rumbo over your head and pull that arm as slow as you can without any pain and look down to the left shoulder. See if you can feel the stretch 
behind the shoulder girdle of the scapula, your rotator, your forearms. Just notice how nicely everything pulls something and stretch it. Three, two, one. Let's come back, the same right arm, we bring it to the chest, and now we're gonna go deep into the back of shoulder and a little bit the front. Keep your spine nice and straight. Breathe. And one more. And drop it arm down, relax. Now notice when you drop the arms, how does it feel your right versus left? Maybe you feel a loss of space between your right ear, right shoulder. So just lift the arms up and see how they feel. The right arm with the left. See if the blood is flowing nicely into the right arm. My right arm feels very soft, very nice. I feel like I'm taller, longer. <laughs> I come back and relax. Let's do the same thing. That is a beautiful flow. So let's do the same thing. Lift the finger, left hand, and press. Take your mind. Maybe this arm is different than the other one. So just be mindful with this. And stretch without any complaining or comparing. Just stretch. And let's Point the fingers, all the fingers, including the thumb, down and stretch. So see if you feel your wrist, your forearms, even your shoulder. Let's do two more inhales here, really stretching the back of the arms. Beautiful, this. Shake it a little bit, maybe some residual, maybe some tension there. Relax. And we're gonna draw a rainbow. We're gonna take the arms up, hold on the left wrist. Gently, carefully, we take that arm to the right side. Looking over the right shoulder. Just one more breath and relax it. And the same arm, we're gonna bring it all the way to the front. Sit upright, really upright position and push on that hand to your chest and see how that feels. Nice stretch. Keep the arms high, don't drop it down. Feel that nice stretch in your shoulder back of the shoulder, two more breaths, last one, ah, drop the arms down and see if they feel both long, like a spaghetti, you know, <laughs> so long, now let's lift the arms up and see if they both equal the same way, ah, feels so good, both equal, so let's just bring them back to the front and work on our wrist only, so, Close your fingers, you can put the thumbs in or thumbs out, and now you just circle. That's it. Reverse. and come back and shake your hands. So we're gonna do one more for our legs and our hands. And it's flexion and extensive flex. It's basically up and down and you do the same thing. So you're coming on your heels, you're, you're lifting your toes up and you're lifting the toes as we're lifting the fingers and you're dropping the toes as you're dropping your fingers, okay? Let's do this. Close. You can cover your thumb or just up and down, 
And you're gonna feel it. It's not that easy to do the hands for after five breaths. You feel like, oh, my forearms. See if we can just speed it up a little bit. See how that feels. Two more inhales, two more inhales. I know it's not fun, but it's good for your hands, for blood circulation. One more breath. And relax, drop your arms, drop your shoulders, feel them. <laughs> Feel the legs, everything nicely moving. I like one more. I like those ones, so straight arms. So your arms and leg goes the same thing, like right and left. So the same thing with the leg, right? So kind of doing some lateral movement. This is good for your joints, ligaments, your ankle joints, your wrist, just side to side. That's it. Fingers are closed. And you're doing the same thing with your legs. Some nice lateral movement. That's it. Keep going. Ah, concentrate on your legs too. Breathe. Three more inhales. Give me two more. Moving the leg, the feet. Last one, last one. And relax. Go back in your chair. Push your back on the chair so you can relax. Bring your palm facing up. Roll the shoulder back. Pause for a moment. Feel your energy from your toes to the crown of the head. Some tingling. Some beautiful flow, blood flowing. Breathe through the sensation you create already in your body. And now we're gonna just come and work a little bit on flow, seated flow. Open your legs wide. And you can again sit halfway chair and we're going to lift the arms up in here and exhale. You can come halfway if you like, or you come all the way down. The idea is to work with your hip. This is a function of this and the hamstring a little bit. So if you're not feeling that, make sure you take and go all slow down so you can feel it. Okay, let's do this. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale. Go slow so you can feel every part of your spine. Eight more. Inhale when you're going up. Exhale when you're falling. Last six. Five, four, three, two. Last one, you're gonna stay down, whatever down is for you today, comfortably. Allow the crown of the head to face down. Relax the shoulder so you can feel the nice opening at the back of your head and maybe your hamstring as well. Just relax completely for three more breaths. Take your head side to side, say no. Bring your head front and say yes.
and slowly place your hands on your thighs inhale flat back spine straight halfway exhale relax inhale slowly coming up very slow don't rush and bring your legs back to relax completely spine straight allow the hip to recover and rest we're gonna do some eagle pose seated on a chair to work on our a little bit di uh, core so you place your right leg on top of left if it's in your practice to wrap and it's easier to wrap when you are on a chair seated than when you actually use no chair but if you can wrap today that's okay you know you just do whatever you can right so here we go I'm wrapping now arm straight right arm down left is up so the right knee is up and my right elbow is down right now we inhale we lift the elbows to the sky to the ceiling we exhale we come back touch the knee we inhale we lift all the way up we exhale we bend and you're doing eight of those and you pay attention to what's happening in that hip and core when you're coming forward, notice that. Notice if it feels a deep stretch in your shoulders as well. So the slower you go, the more you have an opportunities to observe all these areas. And give me seven more. Last four, very slow. Last two. Last one. You're gonna hold it down for five breaths. Hold, five. Holding, four, maybe your arms coming more down to stretch the shoulder, three, two, one, stay here with me, just release the leg, not the arms, let's see if you can bring the arms more down and hold and stretch the arms and the shoulders, holding, three two one release the arms let them dangle and gently slowly come all the way up bit by bit relax completely notice the right arm the right head stay with that beautiful feeling in your body Relax your heart. Let's do the other side. Left leg goes on top. You can just put on top. And I always have challenge with the side to wrap. I'll just put it this way. Arms, left arm is down now. Right arm is up. So the arm that goes down, that arm has more resistance, like you will feel it more on that side. So, but we're trying to center it so we can feel the core and the head, pelvic floor, you're working with really deep in your head. So inhale all the way up, exhale all the way down. And we're doing 12, so we want to make sure that we're really targeting that area there. And breathe. Inhale when you lift, exhale when you lower. Mm -hmm. 
six more. Last four. Last two. This is your last one. You're gonna hold all the way down. You can slowly stretch the arm down to feel it even more into the shoulders. Hold here. Keep the arms, release only your legs and see if you can bring the arms a little lower down to stretch deeper. Now release the arms, let them dangle, let them relax. Roll bit by bit, very slow, using that abdominal muscles to lift your lower up and palm facing down, relax completely. Still this your energy. Keep the mind with your arms, shoulders in. Should feel really good. So we're gonna stand just to let the blood flow to the entire body and also to see if we can do a few things without the chair. So we're going to come into a nice Trikonasana. It complements the shoulder opening and the hamstring stretch. So we're going to work on that. So bring your right leg pointing toward the chair, 90 degrees. Take your left leg and two heels in and toes in front, 45 degrees. Your feet are three feet apart, not too wide. Now they're both nice and straight, and you can feel a slight move in your head. You can feel the stretch in those legs, hamstring. Lift the arms, take the right arm, extend here. You can place it on chair if you like, and notice if you feel the stretch of the back of the front leg, the hamstring. If you feel it good, then turn your head to the side. So we want to open the head to the side. So you want to feel it even more, right? So the hip is not dropping in front, it opens to the side. You right away, you will feel more opening in your legs, whether you go up or down, you will feel it. That is what I want you to do. Then you can have the arms on the chair if you like coming down, or you can have the arms down on the floor. You take the left arm up, now you turn your head and you're facing your left arm. Your hip is back. You're not dropping the hip forward. Feeling the beautiful stretch on the back of your right hip. Your glutes and also your shoulder and neck as you're looking up. Here, three, two, one. Gonna take the right arm over the chair and have the back leg still straight and draw a rumbo with the left arm. Now we're stretching. We'll push the hip back. We're not bringing it forward. We're pushing back to stretch the left side of your body and the back of the right leg. Hold here, breathe. And come back, both hands on the chair, and bring the left leg back in front to relax. When you're ready, stand up, rest, pause for a moment to relax your right hip. After three breaths, it will relax. Just breathe through that side, let it rest. And let's do the other side. 
So left leg is in front, right leg is back. Toes facing the chair, and the toes back leg are inward, 45 degrees. Now, I want you to feel that front leg that is nicely stretching. That's the focus, the function is to stretch the back of the left leg. Now you can have your hands down or on the chair, whatever works for you, and come slowly all the way down, lift the right arm, and push the hip back. So your hip is going back, not anymore, and you want to feel that stretch in your back if you're that way. Turn your head, face your right arm, to stretch the neck, breathe. Now inhale deeply, as you exhale, draw a rainbow with your right hand over your head. You can use the chair if you like, or no chair, and hold here and breathe. Whatever works for you, to put your left hand on the chair, or you can stay low if you want to work really deep into the stretch. Three. Right. And again, use the chair slowly. You might be sore. Bring your right leg in front. Stand. You can support yourself here with the chair. Rest for a few breaths. Relax both sides of your back of the legs. And a tiny bit back bend is good for your hip. So we're going to open the legs a tiny bit wider than our hip. And then we activate the pelvic floor. Bring your tailbone forward, a nice neutral spine, just to protect your lumbar spine. Now the glutes are engaged, your pelvic floor is strong. Lift your arms up, open your arms, and slightly push the hip forward. Let the arms drop. You don't have to go too deep back. But you want to just slightly push the hip. Create a little bit opening in your hip flex. Holding here for four more breaths. Beautiful. Come back. Relax completely. And we're going to do the feet together. Hip width apart, bring them nicely close, but not too close. And we're doing forward bend, Uttanasana. So again, I'm going to stay away from the chair. Do I hit my head? And take the arms up, inhale. Now slowly hinge from the hips, slowly lower, very slow. You want to feel the back of your legs. You want to feel that movement very slow. And when you're ready, drop the head and shoulder down. Just to feel that stretch. And here we're dealing with hip flexions, you know, so you were kind of flexing the hip. And not everybody's the same. Some people are just have different structure of hip. And they can't go too deep down. Now inhale, watch how far you went when you fold, just, just to see, and come all the way halfway, inhale. Slowly roll all the way up, invite it. Shoulders are the last one to come up. And now we're gonna try to see if it's the hip or problem that we can go too low. So we're gonna release by opening the hip slightly wider, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing and see if this allows you to do the hip flexions a little bit more so you can go more down. Okay. Just lift the arms, inhale, and exhale lower, slowly, comfortably, don't rush, expanding that spine, allowing it to drop down, and see if this is better or worse. Everybody's different here. Make sure you're relaxing through this. Your arms and shoulders are relaxed. And you're just working on the back of the hip to stretch. Breathe in through this. 
Now we do two more breaths here. And slowly, very slowly, rolling, using the abdominal muscles to lift you all the way up. And we're going to do one more here with the very wide legs open. Now, typically we say half the toes facing up front. But I found sometimes you have to play around with this. Really, sometimes I've seen people, because the hip is different structure, sometimes I've seen people when they open the toes out, they go more down and external rotation. And sometimes I've seen other ones when they bring the toes more in, internal rotation, they feel they can go more down. So the position of your feet can determine your capacity of how far you can go. So you play around with that. And we're going to do first the knee, the toes out just to, to see where, where is your comfortable zone. And we open the legs about five feet, like really five to even a little more, it's okay. So now I have my toes a little bit out, okay? Let's see if we can do this, how this feel for you. Take your hands in your head and take elbows back, open your heart, inhale. Now I want you to see how slow I'm gonna go. I want you to go that way too. So you extend the spine, don't arch the spine, don't round, just slowly move And whatever that is for you today. We're coming here to see where you add by taking the toes out. The function of this to feel the the inner thighs, the adductors, and to feel your back of your legs, hamstring. The spine should not really have any effect on this pose. So the function is really the lower part of your body. Hold here two more breaths. Last one. And we're going to slowly come all the way up bit by bit. We're not rushing. Halfway we stop. And then we slowly come all the way up. So you know how far you went. You know yourself. I can't watch that. But now let's do it differently. Let's relax and take the toes in a little bit. Heels out. Okay? So the heels are out. Kind of internal rotation. You're rotating the thighs the femur bone, and so let's see how your hip will cope with this. Okay, I'm gonna come to the side, and we do this together. So my heels are out. <laughs> kind of look funny with the camera here. It's really hard. Heels out, toes in, and arms back in here. Very slow, keep your spine straight, no arch. So extend, right, and see, if you relax the upper body, it's allow you to come closer, down, maybe. See which one works better for you. Breathe. Two more. One more breath. Ready? Slowly extend, arms in your head, halfway, stop, relax, and then slowly use your abdominal muscles, come all the way up. Beautiful. So let's come uh, close to the chair here, and do one last pose, balancing to relax. So you can use the chair for tree pose, or no chair. So just stand on the left knee and coming into a nice chair pose. Something just mindfully, nicely done. Relax here. One more breath. When you're done, relax. 
and change the other side. Again, just follow your rhythm. You can use the chair or no chair, hands in your heart center. If you like, you can lift the arms. It's optional, you don't have to. Two more breaths. When you're ready, come back. Release the leg. Come sit on the chair. Pushing the head back. Take both legs slightly front. Tense, tense both legs. Flex both legs. Tense point, drop, relax. Push your back on the chair, push back, neutral spine, and let go, relax. Take both hands in front, point the fingers, and bend, point, and bend. Point tense the arms, drop, relax. Take the shoulders to the ears, squeeze the shoulders to your ears, squeeze, squeeze, drop, relax. Take the shoulder back, open your heart, open your heart, breathe through your heart, smile from your heart, and relax. Take the right ear to the right shoulder and left to the left shoulder and one more tap on each side and come back, relax. Take your head back, squeeze on your face like you have something sour in your mouth, squeeze. Then open your eyes wide like you're terrified, sting your tongue out. Inhale through the nostril and exhale, lion breath. Come back, bring the head back, relax. Relax the whole body from the toes to the crown of the head. Let's be grateful that we can do all this movement. Our mind can observe the positive energy and flow. Notice how relaxed the breath, the body is. Relax the jaw, the tongue. Surrender to what it is right here in this moment. Let go of any attachments any to-do list. Let go. Breathe through your peace. joyful, feel happy, bring smile in your face. Just rub the palm, the center of your palms together, no fingers, just the palm. And take your mind to the center of your palm, to the energy that's flowing there. And concentrate there for a moment.
Now close your eyes and place your palm on your closed eyes. Relax your mind. Inhale deeply and sigh it out. And bring your hands to your heart center. May you always feel your peace and joy. Namaste.